Hi, Year 6. Good morning. And how are you today? I hope you're doing great. And how was your weekend? Well, this morning we're studying math and uh, still a review on Lesson 11, just like we did last week. But we'll have a little bit of difference today. Today, we're going to be doing a little test after the lesson. So, get your pencils ready, your uh, math notebook. Please get them all ready. So by the end of the lesson, when we get to the slide where you're going to write the test, you will be prepared. Again, let's review Unit 1 and 2. So just in case there was something you missed in the last uh, lesson, you will definitely grab it now. So pay full attention and let's start the lesson. Our objective We'll be able to read the time in 12 and 24 hour clocks. We need to be able to know the difference between the 12 and the 24 hour clocks. Also, we'll try to convert from one unit of time to another. And we'll be able to read, use and make schedules using the timetable. Well, I'm sure you remember how to tell the time, but then this is the face of a digital clock sometimes the time could get confusing so this is the face of an analog clock and i have illustrated here how to check the time in digital and analog way now if you study this carefully you will have no confusions checking and knowing your time now the clock is divided into two from 12 to 6 is the half or the past side and then from six also down to 12 again is the two uh, half so there are two parts to it remember that we have the past side 12 to 6 and the two side from 6 to 12. now to check the time on the digital here is something you must know the digital always has the same hour once the hour time is on a particular hour, till that hour here ends, the digital time will still keep showing that hour. For example, if the time is 4.20, so that's 20 minutes past 4, the, the digital clock keeps showing 4.20. When it gets to 6, it shows 4.30. When it gets to 8, it shows 4.30. Uh, 40 when it gets to 10 it shows 450 and so on the hour and or the hour time does not change until the next hour sets in the only thing that you notice has been changing is the minutes the minutes keep changing and then the minutes keep increasing when you check the digital time it will start from o'clock then to 5 10 20 of oh, sorry 15 20 25 30 then to 35 40 45 50 55 and 60 that's how the digital time counts the time now for the analog the hour is going to change when the hour and changes is when your minute hand moves into the two side and where is your two side the two side is between 6 and 12 or a minute after 6 to a minute to 12. I mean when the long hand has moved away from 30 by 1 minute and it is by 1 minute away from 12. The hour will change when you tell the time in an analog clock. For example, right now it's 4 o'clock. When the hour and the minute and moves to 20, we say the time is 20 minutes past 4. But when the minute hand moves to 7, we will say it is uh, 25 minutes to the next hour. The next hour is 5. 25 minutes to 5. If it is between 12 and 3, whenever the minute hand is between 12 and 3, you're still free to say it's 5 minutes past 4, 10 minutes past 4. 
15 minutes past 4 or quarter to 4, 20 minutes past 4 or even half past 4. But the moment it shifts away from 6 to the next uh, minute, you say it is 29. Now at this point you notice that the time for the analog, the minute starts reducing till you get to 12. So at that point you say the time is 29 minutes to the next hour now to 5. So when it is on the 2 side, it will read to the next hour. But on the past side, it will still read past that hour. I hope you understand this. Now I'd like you to understand the AM and PM time. I'm going to tell you or explain to you about 12 and 24 hour time. But before I do that, it is very important for you to know how the AM and PM time is or when is AM and when is PM. You know there are 24 hours in a day, right? And we have the first 12 hours and the second 12 hours. When does the first 12 hours start? It starts from 12 in the midnight when probably you are deep asleep up until do you know the time when the second prayer of the day is being called? That's close to midday, right? Good. Now, from 12 in the midnight up until that hour when the second prayer of the day is being called is the first 12 hours of the day. Now, once, is it, once it is midday, that's 12 o'clock, once it is 12 o'clock, then the PM, sta uh, PM time starts. But from 12 in the midnight to the period when the second prayer of the day is being called, that's before 12 o'clock, that's, we can say, up until one minute before 12 midday. We call those times AM. They are AM times in the morning. Now from 12 midday, when the sun begins to rise to its peak, from 12 midday up until going again towards 12 in the midnight again, that we call that time PM. Okay? Once it is 12 in the midnight exactly, AM starts again. Once it is 12 midday, PM starts again. So AM is between 12 and the midnight to one minute before 12 midday. Then PM is from that 12 midday up until one minute before 12 again in the midnight. So take note of this, okay? The first 12 hours are AM and the second 12 hours are PM. The 12 and 24 hour time. You know that we have, I have two clocks here. The first clock is 1 to 12. That's the regular clock we mostly usually have. And the second one shows 24 hours. 1 to 12, then 13 to 24. Now, please take note, the 1 to 12 time also reads 24 hours. It can count for 24 hours. But how? It's going to move two times. Because there are 24 hours in a day, the first 12 hours will count from 12 in the midnight, like I said to you, up until 1 minute to 12 noon or 12 midday. Then by 12 midday again, the time starts counting the next 12 hours up until 1 minute before another 12 midnight. So the clock will count two times for the 12 hour clock. But for the 24 hour clock, it counts just once. There are 24 hours in a day. So when it is 12 in the midnight, 24 hour clock will read 0000. We call it the zero hour because it is a time when uh, a day, one day ends and another day starts. Okay, that's why we call it the zero hour. So, if the 12 hour clock is saying 12 a.m., it means the 24 hour clock will say 0000. zero, zero, zero. That's going to be the time. That's the zero hour. Please don't forget this. Then, when it moves to one, 
1 a.m that's the first hour of the day the 24 hour clock will also say 1 a.m or one hour when it is 2 a.m on the 12 hour clock the 24 hour clock will also say two hours because that's the second hour of the day now when it gets to 6 a.m in the morning that is the sixth hour of the day probably at that time you're preparing to go to school by 6 a.m is the sixth hour of the day so the 24 hour clock will say six hours okay now it goes on and on like that up until 12 midday by 12 midday the 12 hour clock will say 12 p.m the 24 hour clock will also say what 12 hours that is half of the day but now by the time we move into the 13th hour of the day the 12 hour clock now will move to 1 p.m remember we've been looking at 12 a.m so we got to 12 p.m now it is the second 12 hours of the day 12 hour clock will say 1 p.m that is the second one for the day the first one was a.m that's the first hour of the day the second one for the day is the 13th hour of the day but 12 hour clock will say 1 p.m but what will the 24 hour clock say 13 hours because now it's the 13th hour of the day if it is 4 p.m 4 p.m the 12 hour clock will say 4 p.m but the 24 hour clock will say 16 hours can you see that on the 24 hour clock it will say 16 hours because it is the 16th hour of the day and by now we have eight hours more for the day to be completed now when it gets to 9 9 p.m in the night probably that's your bedtime 9 p.m will read 21 hours because that's the 21st hour of the day so the 24 hour clock will read the time by the hour of the day while the 12 hour clock will read in a.m and p.m because it has to go two times so the first round will be a.m and the second round will be p.m okay so when you're comparing 12 and 24 hour time always take note of the a.m and p.m when the clock is going on the second round of p.m for the 12 hour clock the 24 hour clock will be reading 13 14 15 16 by that time okay all right then now the 24 hour time reads in 100 hours in words for example when it is 2 p.m what time will it be on the 24 hour clock it's already the 12 hour clock is saying 2 p.m that means it's on the second round of 12s for the day it has completed the first round and now it is on the second round by two hours so on the 24 hour clock it means it is the 14th hour of the day so 24 hour clock will say 1400 hours okay that's how it is being read 1400 1400 hours in digits it's write as 1400 and in words it's called 1400 hours Now, students, let's try to see how to fill in the 12 and 24 hour time equivalent. Remember that the 24 hour time is written by the actual hour of the day. Okay, like when it is the 13th hour, 24 hour clock says 13.00 hours. Okay, when it is the first hour of the day, the 24 hour clock says 100 hours hour that means it is a.m remember i said to you that the first 12 hours is a.m and the second 12 is p.m now let's see this we have 24 hour time saying 12 a.m for 12 a.m what will the time be it's 12 a.m remember that's in the midnight so what would the 24 hour time be certainly it is zero zero hours or 24 hours a time when the day ends and another day begins 24 hour has been completed now let's see 
the 24 hour time now six says 6 30 hours what does that mean it means this is the sixth hour and 30th minute of the day sixth hour and 30th minute of the day it means it is a.m and the 12 hour clock will say 12 6 30 a.m what about 12 36 hours it means we are in the 12th hour 36 minutes of the day what does this tell you remember i said to you that the midday starts from 12 midday starts from 12 now what will the time be in 12 hour clock it has passed mid midday by 36 minutes so the time will be 12.36 p.m. Now we are on the second 12 hours of the day. P.m. has started. This says 9.21 p.m. Still, we are on the second 12 hours of the day. That means 24-hour clock will read it as the hour of the day. We have gone 9 hours, 21 minutes into the second half. That means it's going to be 9 plus 12. That's first 12, first 12 hours, 21 hours. That's 21, 21 hours. Then what about 1 a.m.? 1 a.m. means we're on the first hour of the day and the 24-hour clock is going to read it as one hour. I hope you understand the 12 and 24-hour better uh, time better now. Right, students, please click on the second link and let's see the concluding part of the lesson.